So today I'm gonna do a little tutorial on uh, just a little mixing tutorial. A lot of you guys have been asking for a, fr a free preset. Take this as your free preset today. I'm just gonna freestyle some stuff for you guys and we're gonna sit here and kind of mix it, make it sound good. And this will be the free preset. If you guys just follow along, you can uh, get my effects step by step and just apply it to Adobe Audition. So if you guys don't wanna purchase a preset for $20, Here's your free preset. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm just gonna freestyle to this beat I found on YouTube. Then we're gonna mix it, add some effects to it. And yeah, that's pretty much gonna be the video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna hit a free, yeah. We gonna bust a freestyle. Kelly, hit it, get it, no my flubby. Too wild, yeah, we on the way. I ain't never changed. Money, I'm a bang, yeah, I'm here to celebrate. Tell me what you know, I don't think you understand. Feeling like a man, I just do it cause I can. I ain't never stop, nah, I do it for the fam. I ain't never stop, nah, I do it for the fam. Yeah. So now I'm gonna go ahead and play that for you guys. We're gonna play it raw, like a raw version, no effects and then I'm gonna mix it, and then I'm gonna play the mixed version and show you guys the difference. I'm gonna hit a free, yeah. We gonna bust a freestyle. Kelly, hit it, get it, no my flubby. Too wild, yeah, we on the way. I ain't never changed. Money, I'm a brain, yeah, I'm here to celebrate. Tell me what you know, I don't think you understand. Feeling like a man, I just do it cause I can. I ain't never stop, nah, I do it for the fam. I ain't never stop, nah, I do it for the fam, yeah I'ma hit a free, yeah We gon' bust a freestyle Kelly, hit it, get it, no my flow be Too wild, yeah, we on the way I ain't never changed Money, I'm a brain, yeah, I'm here to celebrate Tell me what you know, I don't think you understand Feeling like a man, I just do it cause I can I ain't never stop, nah, I do it for the fam all right, so now we're gonna go through my little effect rack I have here. You can purchase these presets on uh, itskelly.com. Get your presets today. We have a ton of presets. Go get yourself some presets. Or you can spare yourself the $20 and just follow along and uh, repeat these steps. So uh, without further ado, here are the effects that I have for this little freestyle I did. The first thing I like to do for all my sessions is turn your beat down a little bit. Mine's at 3.5. I usually go to like 5, but it's not that big of a deal for this little tutorial. This will give headroom for your vocals and the effects that you're applying to your vocals. And then after you finish mixing it all, you're going to want to master your song later on. So it just gives you room for all that. If you keep your beat at 0, apply effects to your vocals, and then master it, your song's probably going to be distorted. So uh, just turn your beat down a little bit when you start. All right, so the first thing I'll show you guys is my EQ. So if you guys go up to Mixer, you will see an EQ right here. Now for my presets, like I have EQ for the main vocals and then some for the background vocals. I also have uh, effects for like the main vocals and some for the background vocals. Now for the EQ, I did something that's pretty basic. You can start tweaking these levels yourself. It really depends on your voice. For almost all of my songs, for the most part, I cut the lows and I bring up the highs. So that's what I did here. I cut my lows to about 100 hertz. And I brought my highs up around 18,000 hertz. So uh, yeah, as you guys can see, ba-boom. Now, if this was an actual song and I was like serious about this, I'd probably go in here and just start tweaking these a tiny little bit or just to see what it does to my voice. But like my default EQ is something like this. So. And then we're gonna go to our effects. So this is like a melodic type song, kind of what songs most songs are nowadays. So the first thing I did is apply that auto tune tune to my vocals. Adobe has an amazing auto tune. I have a video on Adobe's auto tune by itself. My scale and key is major D. Every single song's gonna be different. If you're not in the right key, it's gonna sound really weird and messed up. So make sure you guys get the key right. And a way to find the key for your songs, you can go to this website, getsongkey.com, drag your beat into here, and then it will tell you the BPM and the key for the song. And then just put that 
in your auto tune. Or you can message the beat maker and ask them what key the beat's in. And sometimes it's in the description, like where you buy it, they'll have it like in the description as well. So if you're using auto tune, make sure you get your key right or it's gonna sound weird. Before I go any further, if you guys are unsure on how to add effects, just go to this little arrow right here. And these are all your effects. Your auto tune, time and pitch, your compressors, your reverbs, it's pretty much everything I use. Your EQ. Yeah. So my next effect is a de-esser. It's de-essing your vocals. It's taking away those harsh S's. And it's attacking the 7,500 to 12,000 hertz area. If you move these, it will change the area that it's attacking. The higher hertz are where most of your harsher sounds are. That's where it's attacking. You have different settings in here if you want to use them but this is where I have mine at right now. Our next effect is another EQ, our 30 bands EQ, EQ, 30 bands. Now I like to use this EQ because it goes like really far up in the frequencies, makes the vocals sound sharper, cleaner, crispier, more, more professional. But I brought the 25K Hertz and 20K Hertz all the way up to give you that like sizzly crispy vocal. And then I cut my lows to about 100, and I brought the 125 up a little bit just to give you a little thicker, bassier vocal. I didn't really do too much, just like a little bit. It's at 8.3. But uh, yeah. Then we have our vocal enhancer. <laughs> now, to be completely honest, I don't really know what exactly this is. Like, I'm not sure if it's a compressor, a limiter, EQ, or what it does to my vocals. I just know that it makes my vocals like thicker and it makes them stand out a little bit more. But it's called the vocal enhancer. There's literally like three settings, female, male, music. But it actually helps your vocals a decent amount. And yeah, I like the effect. Vocal enhancer. I'm pretty sure it's in special. Yeah, vocal enhancer. Next we have dynamics processing. It's our first compressor right here. And I'm using the classic Softney. I use this for like all my songs. Love this compressor. It's one of the reasons I'm still using Adobe to this day. Same with the auto tune. The auto tune and the compressor. They just keep me with Adobe. <laughs> or else I probably would have got like Logic or Pro Tools by now. Then we have our single band compressor. Just another compressor. I like to use multiple different compressors. Think of like a group of superheroes, like um the Avengers. They all have their own like superpower, they all have their own skill that they bring to the table. It's like the compressors. They all have like a certain type of compression they bring to the table. That was probably not the best analogy, but uh, yeah. I like to use multiple compressors instead of just one. As you can see, we have another compressor. So we have three different compressors compressing the vocals in three different ways to give you that awesome vocal. Next, we have our mastering effect special mastering this has a bunch of different things the eq which i'm not even using like it's pretty much flat so don't even worry about that reverb i don't really use the reverb for this the exciter the exciter is like my favorite effect it gives you that like shh sound so we're at 16 right now just got to remember that so if i bring this exciter up you're gonna notice a shh sound I'm gonna hit a free yeah we gonna bust a freestyle Kelly hit to get it no my flow be too wild yeah we on a way I ain't never changed money on my brain yeah I'm here to celebrate tell me what you know I don't think you understand feeling like a man I just do it cuz I can so as you guys can see it makes your vocals like a lot crispier and that's why I like it gives you that like bright crispy vocal but you can really like go overboard with that effect, so be careful with it. Then we have our loudness maximizer. This is like another compressor, but I'm only using a little tiny bit of it. And that's it, the exciter and the maximizer. And then we have our reverb, our studio reverb. Feel free to copy my settings. I made these all up myself and uh, yeah. If this is not enough reverb to for you guys, even though I think it's a decent amount of reverb for like a melodic song, 
you can take the wetness knob and turn the wetness knob up and that's going to give you a lot more reverb and if you guys think this is too much reverb for your songs you can take the wetness knob and put it to like one or like 0 0.5 and it's going to be a lot less reverb or you guys can go through and start playing with the settings to see what it does. Next, we have our echo. I just have a little bit of echo on here just to fill in those spaces between my pauses. Boom, boom, boom. I'm pretty sure I'm using a stereo vocal echo. I click that. I lock left and right. Go to 800. Bring this all the way up. Put this at like 20. I forget what I had it at. Maybe less than 20. Like 7 or something. And that's my echo. I only use a little bit of echo. But echo can really help like fill in those spaces. If your song sounds too plain, flat. Echo can really give it some bounce. And then we have our last effect. Our hard limiter. Which is kind of like a compressor. It's like making sure the soft stuff lines up with the harder more louder stuff so everything is just leveled just to seal your mix up it's kind of like a compressor but uh yeah that's my last effect those are my settings for my last effect and yeah that's pretty much it for my vocal preset and actually we have a mastering effect as well which i'm I forgot for, for, forgot about. This is also on my mix. So uh, if you guys go down to master right here, you will see mastering. And again, we have some saturation, the exciter. This is uh, affecting the whole entire song, by the way, the beat and the vocals. So we have, again, an exciter, some saturation to add some crispiness to your song. Then we have a compressor, the loudness maximizer to kind of like compress your beat with your vocals and make everything into one and then we have our output gain at one that's just turning everything up and then we have a little bit of eq we have a low pass filter on the highs just because it seemed a little bit too harsh so i brought the highs down a tiny bit it's probably not even noticeable but uh yeah if the highs are too harsh on your master you can just bring that down a little bit so we have the mastering effect on the master track that's affecting everything, and that's my last effect. So, boom, boom, boom. Now we're done. Now I'm going to drop another video in a few days, mixing these same vocals, but with custom plugins. So these are all stock Adobe plugins. But usually when I mix songs for myself or clients, I use custom plugins, not just the stock plugins. So stay tuned for that video. I'll drop that video like next week or so. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'm going to try to keep these videos dropping at least every single week. Yeah, we back. I'll see you guys soon with another video. Peace.